A few weeks back, I composed a quick video called The Spooky World of Tumblr Star Wars Fandom. It got a great reaction from my subscribers, a lot of piqued curiosity. I promised to do a full expose on it as soon as time permitted. I suggested the people, people don't really know about shipping. By that I meant normies, normal people, like me. Suddenly, the SJW Star Wars fandom community erupted with laughter. Everyone knows about shipping, silly comic artist pro secrets. And that's when I caught the attention of Geek Girl Diva. Freelance writer at Hypable, Sci-Fi Wire, Slash Film, and StarWars.com. Oh, and more. Oh, and an unabashed liberal. And she tweets a lot. Fair warning. Oh, no. Geek Girl Diva was delighted by my naivete. Kylux is going to send him over the edge, she tweeted with a cackle. Well, yes, it's weird and gross watching Scott Farkas and Marilyn Manson have sex. Star Wars writer Brian Young has also learned caution from Kylux. But that's another story to be continued, I promise. I may actually have to watch one of his videos, lol. Well, I wish you would, and please subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. Geek Girl Diva continued to mock, scorn, and belittle my boomerish innocence and lack of awareness of perverted cartoon pornography. Sometimes the internet is good. I love you guys. Thank you for making me smile. It's a, been a good morning, and that's all because of you. I agree that the internet is good. It's a good research tool for discovering truth, no matter how disquieting reality turns out to be. And so, as beloved Lucasfilm spokesperson Pablo Hidalgo once congratulated alleged and accused rapist Bobby Roberts, let us spelunk into those nastiest online fandom caves and return with hilarious treasure and meaningful insight. Let us be worthy of those props from Pablo Hidalgo. Let's go, shall we? Hello. I started this gangsta oh, 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 this the mother thanks I get Hello. I started this gangsta oh, 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 and this the mother thanks I get All right, everyone. Shipping. Initially derived from the word relationship, it's the desire by fans for two or more people, real or fictional characters, to be in a romantic relationship. It's often when girls get together on Tumblr and Titter about two usually straight male characters having some gay. Shipping enthusiasts will tell you that this degeneracy has been around since the mid-1970s when weird Star Trek fans imagined that Kirk and Spock were exploring uncharted territory together. But I never heard any of that. I do remember people hoping Mulder and Scully of the X-Files would get together, but that, that was just because David and Maddie had already consummated on Moonlighting and television was boring back then. Disney's purchase and deconstruction of Star Wars beginning in 2012, combined with an increasingly depraved internet culture, uh, spurted a huge sticky wad of degenerate shipping fantasy on nerdy leftist sites, especially Tumblr. Why? Poe and Finn. Storm Pilot. It all started with the lit bite heard round the internet. What exactly was Poe doing with his body language here? J.J. Abrams stirred the pot. He said, When I talk about inclusivity, it's not excluding gay characters. It's about inclusivity. So, of course, to me, the fun of Star Wars is the glory of possibility. So it seems insanely narrow-minded and counterintuitive to say there wouldn't be a homosexual character in that world. Now, by the time Abrams had said that, fans and writers had already speculated on the possibility that Poe Dameron and Finn would become a couple. Out.com offered 10 signs Poe Dameron may be gay. Fans had made their own art depicting Poe and Finn as a couple. And then Ryan Johnson shared some of that fan art. Oscar Isaac, who plays Poe, helped stoke these rumors while visiting the Ellen DeGeneres show. Without going into details, Isaac suggested that a romance was unfolding in Star Wars The Force Awakens. He says, I think it's a very subtle romance that's happening. You know, you just have to look close. You have to watch it a few times to see the little hints. You mean hints like these? Bro, it ain't that subtle. Disney Lucasfilm, already in the process of destroying and disgracing Star Wars, seemed to fully endorse and support 
endless fan speculation of which characters might be having sexual relations and how cute that might be. After all, it distracted audience attention from how horrible the new films actually were, and attracted a new audience that didn't really seem to like Star Wars, but really enjoyed depictions of gay romance. The media demanded Storm Pilot. YouTubers demanded Storm Pilot. The only person who didn't seem excited? Oscar Boyega. With the last bit of testosterone he could muster, he attempted to quiet rumors. Yeah, I've seen that. It's so not true. Oscar Isaac wishes it was, though. It's all in his head. It's a brotherly love. A bromance, that's for sure. The fans attacked him. It makes me uncomfortable the way John Boyega is always speaking disparagingly of Storm Pilot, shipping Finn and Poe, acting like it's all in Oscar Isaac's head, etc. I know he had a strong religious upbringing, and I'm worried that's why he doesn't want to play a gay character. John Boyega was forced to walk it back. As far as I'm concerned, he said, when JJ set us down to go through the script, it was a bromance, but, but now I'm learning what Mark Hamill said before when he didn't know that Darth Vader was Luke's father. You never know what they're gonna pull. I'm looking at the director, Ryan Roundhead Johnson, closely so he can get me involved early so, so I can prepare myself, so who knows. And that's when the fan art became aggressive, hardcore, humiliating. Obviously I have to crop these down, you know, for YouTube, but yeah, uh, it's porn. Unfortunately, it's porn. <laughs> Oscar Isaacs began to troll John Boyega in a way that borders on sexual harassment. In an interview, he said, I think that Oscar is always looking at me with love in his eyes, and I guess that the fans saw it, and then they realized that either he needs to chill or come out. And that became a headline in Pride magazine, Pride.com. Pablo Hidalgo actually attempted to stand up for poor John Bo uh, Boyega and against the shipping culture with a couple of Simpsons cartoons. Good for you, Pablo. And fans did as well. Uh, this one says, You people fetishize homosexuality with characters that may or may not even be LGBT. You see two men and all you can think of is them boning each other. You don't even care about any other aspect of the character. Frankly, that's insulting. Welcome to Disney Lucasfilm Star Wars. That's what this is all about. That's what it's all about. They care about things other than uh, the characters. And it's, you know, uh, them being uh, gay when they're probably not is just part of the puzzle. It's just one aspect of how weird uh, Disney Lucasfilm has become. And so, as the shipping community takes more and more lewd and lascivious liberty with Mrs. Boyega's son's image, and while geek girl diva chortles and laughs and all that weird stuff I have to ask I wonder if John Boyega is having fun with any of this does it matter when Christian actor John Boyega took a role in Star Wars did he realize that this was what was going to come of it <laughs> did he realize that this was what was going to happen did he realize how disgusting and perverted and weird Star Wars fandom had truly become did he realize that he would become debased by being in a Star Wars movie on this level? I wonder. That nah, serves him right. <laughs> hey, want to follow me on Twitter? Okay, cool. I'm at Ethan Van Skyver. Talk to you there. Aren't you tired of this soy-based entertainment? Well, let the world know by ordering your Soylo, a Soy Wars Story t-shirt, or Tico, a Soy Wars Story t-shirt. Um, both come in all kinds of sizes from small to 5XL. Uh, we're sure we can fit you. And uh, thank you very much for your support of the channel. The link is below in the description. Man, it's exciting. Suddenly I'm a t-shirt merchant as well. Humble frog ink and t-shirt merchant. Thanks, guys. Join the fandom menace and execute your own Order 66 with our incredible line of t-shirts, Soy Low, a Soy Wars Story, Tico, a Soy Wars Story, and our brand new smoking hot Soy Wars Plan 9. Make a statement today. This is the only trilogy you'll ever need. The link is below in the description. 
If you enjoyed this video and want to become part of this community, subscribe to this channel by clicking the Laughing Man Face logo right on your screen. Ring the bell for notifications as well. You'll never miss a live chat. And stay tuned, another video by Comic Artist Pro Secrets is coming right up.